Are you a first home buyer and seeking to understand information around the first home guarantee scheme? This video is for you. There are eligibility criteria if you're an Australian citizen or a permanent resident above the age of 18 for your financial year records and it is verified from your notice of assessments issued for the 30th of June 2024 financial year as a single person you can't have exceeded $125,000 worth of income earnings if you are a joint applicant your joint financial year ending 30th of June 2024 no more than 200 grand and as I said it is verified from the ATO notice of assessments there are a little other criterias in there. Let's go to the other things that are required for this particular segment. My name is Laura Moyer, local mortgage broker, FYI. To participate, you need to ensure that it is from these particular lenders. There's other lenders in there. Check out the website. Give me a call if you're wanting to see who else is participating. The benefit of this particular scheme is that you don't pay lender mortgage insurance if you qualify for it. Basically, the government will go guarantor for you. So if you do not have mum or dad, brother, sisters or somebody who puts up a title, this is where this comes really, really, really handy because obviously you do not need that 20% plus costs on the table. As long as your borrowing capacity passes with those participating lenders, um, you're pretty much good to go. The other benefit, it is an Australia wide thing. So if you are trying to look for a property that is in capital cities in any of those particular regions, for argument's sake, if you're in Victoria, $800,000. And if it's in regional Victoria, it's $650,000. If you're wanting to verify what your um, options are and you're not sure where to start give me a call my name is Laura Moya local mortgage broker let's see if we can get you a spot it is first in best served um, there was $35,000 uh, 35,000 spots available Australia wide and it was released from the 1st of July 2024 financial year and it will expire 30th of June 2025 financial year unless it expires out so if you've got FOMO Get in quickly.